I, I think what we need to do is to um, now is to find out what some, some people have done and how effective it is in terms of decolonizing ourselves. Because every time I sit and listen to all of us here when we're talking about things, you know, we all straddle in the fence. You know, on the one end we're talking about white way, on the other end then we step over and turn into black world and we're talking. So we're talking from two worlds, so we've got to work out which world do we belong to. That's what we have to do. If we're going to make a progress and go forward here, we either got to be work out whether we blackfellas under our law and custom, or whether we half caste who stuck in the middle and don't know where we belong, or whether we belong over here in an assimilated society and work with those bastards over there to down pre and oppress our people further over here. Because I see those blackfellas stuck in that over there, thinking they can change it. I see them as suffering the Stockholm Syndrome, yeah? They are representing the oppressor's mind to try and convince us that we're going to go into those people and become part of those people who are oppressing us. So we, we here have to make a decision about where it is that we're coming from. And if we can't do that here in this circle here, well then we've got bloody no hope of working out a pathway going forward. No hope whatsoever. Yeah? And so we have to work that out ourselves. Now. If I can, I know everybody wants to say something, but let's get down to what people have done and how they've succeeded and what we've succeeded on the ground in terms of sovereignty and exercising sovereign, uh, our sovereign, ex um, sovereign actions on the ground. And if I can just ask, and for us to bear with her, because I want to ask Nerissa uh, of Najan. Now Nerissa comes from where Eddie and them are they have united as tri nations now. There's Najan, Yadinji, and what's the other one? Mbabra. Right, so these three nations. Now, these three nations, whilst they've gone through the native title process, they have now advanced themselves and gone into their own sovereignty and began to work from within their own communities and work amongst their people. And they've, and they've treated to become a, a tri nation with each other. And Nerissa has um, stood up and said, well, we need someone to sacrifice and make a move to move outside the white system totally. Yeah? And I, I'd like to invite Nerissa of Najan to stand up and explain what she did and the, and the subsequent effects that that's had on her, her family and her people. And so, and we need to understand this if we're saying, that we are blackfellas and we're outside that system. So I'll, I'll, I'll if we can just bear with Nerissa, because she's got a, a terrific story to tell. Okay, I'm Nerissa and I'm from far north Queensland, from the rainforest with Uncle Eddie. Um, I came here come, for the 40th. Come over so everyone. I came here to the 40th anniversary a few years ago, and I heard. Uh, lawyers talking about we never become naturalized and you don't have to vote so I went home and I did my research why don't we have to vote why have we never been naturalized so I looked at all of that um, we had our own sovereign territorial jurisdiction so for me that's the yeah so for me that's nudging that's my sovereign territorial jurisdiction my people were deported from my territorial jurisdiction to the mission of Yarrabah, to another mission. That's not our territorial jurisdiction. That's what the British government did. So then I had to look at consolidating acts. Consolidating acts means which acts match together and line up. That's your Migration Act. That's your, uh, your Aliens Act, your Citizenship Acts. You have to look at all of that to work out why don't me or my people fit in this system? Why have we never been naturalised? Because we were here first. The British government never, we did not cede up our sovereignty. They did not defeat us in war. So what gave them the legal right to move my people from my territorial jurisdiction to a foreign territorial jurisdiction? So I had to look at all of that. And, and then, and then the jury just was let's, 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 let
Commonwealth Government and the State Government. I am not voting because your statutory law says, based on my race, I do not have to vote. Franchise Act Stop. Stop. It is, it is. Yeah. It's the 1902 Franchise Act. You have to look at that. Section 4, subsection B. It talks about who are disqualified from voting within that jurisdiction. Us, based on our race, we're disqualified from voting because we're not a part of this jurisdiction. Legally and politically, we're not a part of it. That's why the Constitution does not apply to us, because of our legal and political status. No, 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 no. Juridico, politico, mm -hmm. political mm -hmm. relationship to state. Oh, we don't have it. Hang on. This is my citizenship. mother, Isabel, that's, so that's she'll that's butt in every now and then. <laughs> 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 but there is no juridico, political <laughs> relationship to state. That's 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 it doesn't apply to us. It's got all the other recognised. Let her finish, please. Let her finish. Domestic police state. Yes. <laughs> mothers, <laughs> lateral <laughs> violence, mothers. Yes. Mother. Go on. Keep going. And then you look at the electoral acts. Because with the Franchise Act, you have to qualify for and a franchise to a Thanks. jurisdiction based on your political status. So with the Franchise Act, the Consolidating Act are the Electoral mm -hmm. Acts. Mm -hmm. Consolidating Acts to that is the Alien Acts. Mm -hmm. Consolidating Act to that is the Naturalisation mm -hmm. Act. So you see now mm -hmm. why legally and politically the statutory law tells me I am not compelled to vote. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I challenge this. They sent me a $20 fine and I said, well, I'm going to challenge this based on your statutory law. Yeah. Your statutory ah. law... <coughs> Your statutory law says I don't have to do that and you're forcing me to do that. So you show me now, Crown Law in Queensland, where I have to vote. Crown Law said to me, I feel like jumping out of the glass plate window of the third level. He Into says, oncoming traffic. <laughs> <laughs> Justice Irwin, when I went to court, oh, I had to go to court in 2012 for not voting because I was now challenging the the Crown, why why I don't have to vote. And I was challenging the Crown on my political status. So they had to counteract the argument. Um, the Crown Law Solicitor, just, um, Solicitor Ling, he was a Chinese lawyer. So when Justice Irwin said to him, well, what are you going to say to her? What's your response? Why, she, based on her race, she doesn't have to vote? He says, well, that could apply to me because I'm Chinese. The justice says no, it doesn't. It applies to that race of people. Yeah. So then I took it a step further, and I thought, okay, I'm winning here. <laughs> <laughs> it was a constitutional matter arising. It was, and he said to me, "You have to notify the attorney generals of every state and territory in the federal." So I did that. I did that. Mm. And they said to me, the Attorney Generals, we will not intervene in this court case, but we will keep a close eye on it. <laughs> <laughs> and I knew I was winning every step of the way, and I know I'm still winning right now. So I took it a step further. I came out of the system two years later, but I had to plan everything. I had to plan that I was healthy. I had to plan that I was financially supported emotionally supported, psychologically. I, psychologically, I had to plan all this. Yes. My tribe to do that for me. My elders do that for me. My family do that for me. They support me in every way I need supporting. That's the only way I can do this. And I had to step out of the system because I had to prove to all of our people this is the right way to do it. So if you're staying in the system, you're not going to win because you're fighting within their system, within their jurisdiction. Yeah, and you can't say room. in their jurisdiction, I'm sovereign. How can you be sovereign if you're holding their contract? Mm -hmm. you've, got to, you've got to be logical in your thinking. No, we'll go to the next step now. Mm. Oh, okay. yeah. so, Keep going. So I wrote to the, because we're in Queensland, I wrote to Governor Paul de Jersey. The Attorney General at that time, it was Jared Blijo, and I wrote to the Federal, George Brandis and Peter Cosgrove, the Governor General. Yeah. 